72 hours from now, Blues and Maroons players will be nervously waiting in the sheds before they kick off the State of Origin series in front of a sellout Sydney crowd. And after a couple of days off, the New South Wales squad reconvened today. Zach Bailey is in camp with the team. Zach, the Blues had a surprise visitor at training. Good evening, James. Yes, the Blues were surprised by an unexpected Englishman in camp today. NRL great and aspiring coach Sam Burgess spent most of today's training session picking the brain of Blues coach Brad Fittler. The pair watched on closely as the Blues completed their second last training session ahead of Wednesday's series opener. Run feels good and well connected and felt we've built that trust over the week so far so um, I feel like there's not much not much more to tick off just a few individual things before captain's run and, and game day but so far so good. So James Tedesco is a very happy captain, but Jerome Luai is known as the Blues' CEO. The chief energy officer loves representing his state but has revealed what drives him to be his best. His Blues brothers love him for bringing the good vibes to camp. It's important to come to camp and, and be yourself um, and just express yourself. He's pretty much told us to stay in character and be who we are at club footy and that, so i um, very happy he let us bring in the boombox. In Queensland, he is hated for his niggle. I think I've been um, titled as, as a grub, you know, so uh, I find that pretty funny. The title that matters most to Jerome Luai is Motivator especially for those from Mount Druitt. Yeah, that's definitely our message because, um, you know, growing up, I definitely wasn't the best player on my side. You know, there was way more better players in my junior teams than that and they just, you know, fell down the wrong path. So if we can just help one um, young kid out there in Mount then, you know, that's our job done. Teammates Brian To'o and Stephen Crichton are also proud Druitt boys. The trio determined to make a difference. So we just know how much talent is out there and, you know, so much of it is wasted at times. You know, if we can help those boys um, with our personal experiences and just shove them in the right direction, you know, that, that, that means a lot to us. One thing's for sure, Luai won't take a backward step on Wednesday night. It's a hard game and, you know, you can't back away from, uh, obviously, that collision and uh, the physicality of State of Origins. As for getting under the enemy's skin... Yeah, I can't really say what's going to happen on the field. If I am a grub, I don't mean to come across that way, so, yeah, sorry to the fans. <laughs> Zach Bailey, Nine News. Well, he's played less than 20 NRL games, but blues beware of Queensland's silent assassin, Selwyn Cobbo. I think I've heard him say about three or four words the whole camp so far, <laughs> but as soon as you get on that footy field, he's just got a presence out there and that training, and he's streaking away for tries and then doing everything he needs to do. The Maroons travel to Sydney tomorrow afternoon. Well, a trip to Canberra is tricky at the best of times. And without James Tedesco, it was too much to ask of the Roosters. The two Josephs, Suwali and Manu, provided moments of brilliance, but there weren't enough of them, going down 22 points to 60. The Chooks came to chilly Canberra with a point to prove. And the Raiders were hot under the collar. Oh, 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 oh. hang on. Adam Elliott went through the front door for the opener. Oh, wow. Back from Origin Camp, Joseph Suwali was caught in a crusher. Well, that was a disastrous four seconds, wasn't it? James Tedesco didn't need to worry about his full-back replacement. Manu, they refuse to tackle him. Tupanua, he'll get it down. Yes, he will. The unique skill set of Joseph Manu. You can't coach this, you can't coach against it. Teddy would have been equally impressed and frustrated with the next try. A looping pass. Oh, the head! from Xavier Savage. And in these conditions, that's as good as it gets. 12-6 up at the break. Canberra charged into the second half. Ah, big red. Horsburgh, come on, Corey, put the foot down. He gives it to Sebastian Chris. Chris racing away for the corner, yes. Sydney's left edge combined to cut the lead to six. And Suwali showed why he was a blue squad bolter. Here he comes, Suwali. The defensive error sealing the fifth win in six for Ricky's Raiders, holding on until the final play. Suwali, no! Raiders win! Just! Tom Marriott, Nine News. Jake Trebojevic admits there was a silver lining to being overlooked by the Blues for Origin 1, getting to captain the Seagulls in their 44-12 demolition of the Warriors. You can't let it be about yourself, and obviously I'm a realist. I know there's great players out there, so... You know, I understand, and I was just um, happy I got to play for Manly this week, eh? 
The result heaps even more pressure on Warriors coach Nathan Brown amid their horror run of form.